Trend. Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boo, Stanley. See, that's what we're doing now? Yeah. That's what we're doing now. Okay. I apologize that this review is actually a day late. And going forth until this show is over, we're going to end it. But we're going to wait till they close it out. It will be the next day. Yeah. What had happened was, I ended up having to go to my god doing doctor on last, on this Monday. Mm -hmm. Because... My blood pressure went sky high. Couldn't figure out why I was feeling delusional. I was here, but I won't hear. Brain fog. I mean, everything was just crazy. They took all my labs just to come back and tell me, there's nothing wrong with you. What you have going on is called exhaustion. Mm -hmm. So, Lynette needs to start taking better care of herself. And for every YouTuber that's watching me, listen, these recaps will be here. Yeah, get you some sleep. Get you some sleep. Because yeah. literally, we go to sleep probably about midnight, falling asleep probably about 12, 30, 1 o'clock, and we're back up at 5 o'clock when we do these recaps. And life is life. That never stops. Yeah. So I know that this might disappoint some of you all because you all are used to having it late at night or early in the morning. But at the same time, a dead Lynette and a dead Stanley ain't going to yeah. get you no recap either. Yeah, exactly. So you get some sleep too. Yeah. Because you are watching reviews late. So get you some sleep. And like I said, we'll put them, try to put them out a decent hour the next day so everybody can get some rest. Yeah. So. All right, on to the review. On to the review. Okay. <laughs> God darn. Can somebody please shoot Justin? Okay. Timberlake. See, I told Jeffrey, but he didn't want to listen. Then when somebody tells you something like that, you believe them. Oh, and yeah. when he showed That's up like over there with a gun to his head and a gun to Jeffrey's head, yeah. Jeffrey um, basically, he's done. He's yeah. checked out of life. He's here, but he ain't here. Kind of yeah. like how I was last week. Yeah. Um. He said, I hate my life. So I hate so it. Just go on. Do what do you both got us. to do. Do it. Do it now. Like my yeah. first lady used to say, whatever you're going to do, Lord, do it swiftly. Yeah. Do it. Justin didn't have the heart to do it. Basically, he told Jeffrey, you know what? You stuck with me. You don't step in my life and the wrong parts of my life, no stolen parts of my life. So basically, you're stuck with me and I'm going to steal the rest of your life. I'm like, where they do that at? He eventually put the guns down and I said, um, Jeffrey. Sure. Hit him. Hit that Sean B. This was the night of the Harrington boys hitting up on people tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's about God doing time. So they got doing Jeffrey just clocked him with the Mike Tyson punch out. Boom! Wow. I said, okay, thank you. Says about time. He he deserved that about five, six episodes ago. First episode. But how in the world did Jeffrey mess up his life when you remember he picked Jeffrey up and on, harassed him. And harassed him in the back of the police car. That's how I do. That's yeah. how psychopaths do. So Jeffrey was like, you know what? I'm about to go back home and do what I gotta do. No, 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 don't do that. Don't go. You can't you, go back there. You can't go back there. You Fly. need to come back to our place, the place that I secured for us. So we back on this our place stuff now. <laughs> we back here. And the whole time I'm like, why is it that he doesn't want him to go back to that place? Yeah. And then he's talking all this crazy. He's talking about some, is there a guy? Is that another guy's place you staying with? It's always another guy. Always another guy. Didn't you just leave the place? So you know it. It don't even matter, as Mike B was saying. Yeah. Jeffrey ended up going back to the place, and the place looked like Edward Scissorhands just had went, had a field day head. in it. All I saw was the stuffing from the couches. It looked like bed foam. I said, what in the hell? I was like, Jeffrey, hit that song B again. God doing pictures was like this on the wall. So when Jeffrey got up in there, he said, you know what? You need to leave. You just need to go ahead and go. And I think this is when they actually had the conversation about, is this really your dad's place? And yeah. all it is. It's like, what? Jeff was like, I've been told you this is my dad's place. This is not another guy's place. This is my dad's place. And I'm about to call him and tell him what the, what yeah, the hell Yeah, please do that. So he called his dad. Hello. Now he was up. Yeah. <laughs> because Erica had snuck out of bed to have a conversation with Rocky. Rocky. I don't remember when her and Rocky... God was on telephone oh, call in terms. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I did miss I miss yeah, something? But it's, yeah. But it's it's if I did, it don't matter. Charge it to my head, not my heart. Yeah. So, you know, he's telling his daddy, listen, the place has been ransacked, this, that, and the third. But he never tells him how it got ransacked. So immediately, you know how David go. 
Bruh. Demonica did it. Because using she Cause is the one that do, do, it. do it. Yeah. So he's trying to put his clothes on, trying to get over there to the condo, but at the same time trying to talk to Demonica, and she's talking cash money because at this point, she's laying it on thick. She knows she didn't do it. Uh-huh. But because she got David all riled up, and she got RK over there being her little man toy, um, her little boy toy. I can't even call him man. Uh -huh. Little boy toy. She trying to make him a little jealous. She was talking about some. I got this thing over here with his stuff all in my face. I ain't do nothing. Yes, I did. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So and you he wanna was come like, over here and join in? You better make sure you bring a condom. Cause you been messing with that. <laughs> with messing that around. hole over there. Messing with that hole over there. I said, you know what, Demonica? <laughs> We're not even gonna do this. Ooh. So I said, okay, that's gonna calm down. It's gonna settle down at some point. And I'm going to wait to the last to tell you what the hell happened. Y'all saw it, but I'm going to wait to the last. Yeah. yeah. That was the best part of the night, man. It was the best part of the night. So, we see Candace over there at the hotel. She gives Gia a call. I ain't hitting all the scenes. It's just going to be the important ones to me. Yeah. Call Gia. Told Gia to get Rocky down to the hotel room by telling him that a John is roughing you up. She called, didn't ask no questions, didn't like, nothing. What is, I mean, mm -hmm. on cue, you know what? I need you to come to the room such and such. You know, he, uh, John no. is, and Rocky comes like, running okay. to the rescue. But Candace told Gia, no, you stay in the room because I'm going to make you a bottom B before you know it. Yeah, I'm going to show you how I handle people that cross me. And get all up in my business. Next thing we know, she had a golf club. And when Rocky came through that door and hit that corner, Waka 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 waka. She tore his tail up. I said, "Oh my God!" When I looked at him, he was a battered, bloody mess. Yeah, all because you ran your mouth about Oscar. And I'm sitting here like, and she talking about that's what you get for crossing me. Hold on, but you the one that really did cross him. Yeah, she you crossed, crossed him. him. Mm -hmm. He helped you do all of that, and basically you told him, "Now I'm done with you. Be gone." Yeah. But okay, he gets his tail whooped because he, he tipped off Oscar what's going on. I said, okay. Now, Gia, she's so upset about what she just seen. She can't even she, get her stuff she, together. Candace going to tell her to make her a drink, a vodka and tonic. And go ahead and get yourself together. Because this is the life that you're going to have to get used to if you want to be a part of this game. I said, okay, Candace. It's like, man. You know, I, I just took off Candace, running. Just take, I, off, I just take off running, man. Well, he did. No, we, I'm talking about Gia. Oh. Well, we see next week Rocky in the hospital looking at a crazy mess. <laughs> so, Gia, run for your life. Yeah. But there's hope. Because as crazy as Gia has been and has. <laughs> and yeah. Gia is a guy doing informant. Formant. So, I don't know if she FBI. <laughs> NAPD. <laughs> yeah. Artesian security. <laughs> God, don't. We don't know. Does she work for the CIA? Does she work for Charles Obama? Who the hell is she? But they in the hallway, her and this white guy, real open about the conversation that they have. We're open with it. And they're talking about some, I need something on her. And she has somebody on that's backing her, that's real powerful. And we need to know who it is because I want I'm like, her. who's that? Charles Obama. Yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Mm -hmm. He ain't back at her, but he sure is saving he her time. He is fun to record to make it look like she ain't got nothing going on. So I said, okay, Jim, <laughs> so you're not as stupid as we thought you were. You really you in just there. just acting stupid. Down. But you getting bucked while having to do all this dope. So who's the stupid one? So you got to you gotta do what you got to do to get where you're going. Yeah. Even you got to be on your back doing it. <laughs> For some people, not everybody. Mm. Yeah. But in the home. So, <laughs> now we got this line drawn in the sand with Mitch and Benny's friendship. Yeah. Now, I told y'all last that week. Was, that is heartbreaking right now because, God, don't. Yeah, because I told y'all last week when Mitch went off, I didn't know if he really believed Benny or it was one of those, let me think about what you just told me. Yeah. Now, Mitch don't came back to the house. Now, Benny already had a conversation with his mama about, okay, I'm going to go ahead and let Demonica represent me, da 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 And you know Hannah, I can, I can say this time, Hannah was on it. Hannah was like, you know what, I've been praying about this. Yeah. This ain't going to go well for you. How is it that you're going to pay this lady? 
I know how you gonna pay this lady. Cause you, you and your sister are oh. just alike. And I said, see y'all run around, run around selling y'all aid to everybody. <laughs> I said, I ain't never think about it like that. But yep. Candace and Bennett are one in the freaking same. Yep. Just dumb and dumber. Yep. I said, what the hell, Hannah? A revelation. Said both of them, two Ooh. prostitutes. <laughs> Yo. So she basically said, I know how you're going to pay your way. You're going to buck her up. So, okay. But trust me, she's going to do you in this time. She's going to put she's you back. She's going to put, put you, you in, back jail. in jail. Yep. And I said, Hannah, you showed, showed up right. right. Mm -hmm. Mitch came over to that house and Mitch basically told Bennett, said, listen. My uncle, he's not dead, had a faint pulse, but he's in critical condition. But how is it that me and you been friends, been boys all this time? You ran up in the spot and saw my uncle there dying. And not once did you ever think to call the police, mm -hmm. ambulance, me, say something to somebody. You just basically left my uncle there to die, bleed out on the floor. And could it be? That it was because you, you did it. Because mm -hmm, you did it and you didn't want to pay that money back. I said, Dern show sure looked that way. Yeah, huh? Looked that way. And then Mitch did this. And I said, hold on, Mitch, you lie. Mitch said, and my Uncle Vic, oh, he described you to a T as the person that tried to murder him. I said, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, no he didn't. Yeah, Mitch was, Mitch was booze getting on that time. And Benny was like, dude, I promise you, I swear everything I love. You know how I am. I'm a little slow. I'm a little stupid. I said, come on, Benny, with the truth. True, Sarah. Now, now Benny, what Benny should have told Mitch was the truth is that when I came in there, the dude that owned the bar held me up in the gunpoint. So I was kind of get out of there. But I don't even know. Who, I still don't know who that dude is. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. We just saying. Yeah, he, I'm just going to say he the bar owner because he looked so, like So Mitch told Benny, said, you know what? At this point, you need to go back in your little apartment. And you better hide. Because at this point, I can't do nothing with you. Mm -hmm. I can't do nothing for you. I can't you. protect you, nothing. The Malones, oh, they hot. The streets yeah. are hot right now. They are they pissed coming. off about this day going Uncle Vic situation. And I've been told you that we friends, but when it comes to this family business, I can't save you. Yep. Like Lil Wayne told them, <laughs> I can't. Can't, they can't save you. And he went on about his business. Now, Benny know that you out here in the street. All by yourself. With your hard parts hanging out yep. and no hangs to be found. Hmm. God darn, so Benny. I don't know what you're going to do. Yeah, I mean, better, everything makes sense. You better, you better sense. find out that Wyatt did it and tell on him. Yeah. So we got, um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Hell no. No. Nah. So that God darn Deacon David ended up going over to the Monica he house. He fed up. You don't mess with my life. You came to my new house to book my house. <laughs> You done broke my goddamn furniture up. You done blew my, my cars, cars up. up. Now you over here don't tow up my condo. Oh, I don't have about enough. I to you. need you to leave Jeffrey alone. So you know she putting twenty on ten. <laughs> hey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And next thing we know, he done grabbed her and he was like, "Listen, <laughs> you been <laughs> drinking." And you know what happens when you get to drinking. Yep. You act like a simple bee. And there's something about that simple bee that just just turns her. Yeah, takes her It old, just yeah. does the 180 for her. She started doing patty cake and, and playing church. And I said, okay, what's, what's up with the simple bee? And she said, I'm going to show you a simple bee. Use a simple bee. Use a simple bee. What you going to do? I'm tired of your idle threats, David. I'm tired of your idle threats, David. What you going to do? Do something. Do something. Do something. David, I got the poof. And she spit the rest. <laughs> she curled up when she. Our <laughs> cable's like, oh, skit. But hey, I ain't for a man hitting no one. That's not a woman, that's a demon. That's a demon, though. And she deserves She's been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. But ain't that like real life? Like, like I said, I don't condone nobody putting their hands on nobody, man, female. I don't care about yeah. none of that. But that is like, <laughs> I've heard too many stories about how a woman would be up in a man's face and mm -hmm. just be mm, pushing and, uh, and hitting uh, and smacking uh, in the uh, face and all uh, that kind of uh, stuff. And you're not satisfied until he hit knocked me, you the me. fuck out. And then you act like you, you act like a victim. And then he in trouble. Oh, he been no, 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 no. For years and then. Like no. No, you he just hit you that, that one time. Out of that. Yeah. Do did you deserve it? And I'm not gonna say what I want to say. See what happened was that slap was so goddamn hard from the. Two, three, four, five years of built up uh -huh. freaking anxiety and anger yeah. towards your high 
So she got knocked the buck out. That was she got. And now she said, that's how I said, no, no, no. Don't do it now. Because you've been itching for this. But check this that's out. That's what you've been wanting. Just in case you didn't see the scene, we're going to roll that footage right now. Director, go ahead and roll that footage real quick. God <laughs> door. God door David, man. Deacon. Way God to go, David. David. Way to go. But in real life, y'all, if y'all don't know this, the um the actress that plays um Demonica, Angela, she actually adopted a little boy. Yeah. Like a month a couple months ago, and he yes. is so adorable. So if y'all go to her Instagram page, give her some love and tell her that we sent y'all over there. Cause she had her first her husband had his first Father's Day. Um, this past Father's Day, and I thought it was so cute. But anyway, that was basically it. That was yeah, the that highlight was, of my night. Yeah, was that, that that's Smack and Boy. David. Dog, Jeffrey's punch on Justin, and David slap on Veronica. That's that's. I mean, they could have just showed those two scenes, and I would've been just fine. Yeah, like we said, we don't condone violence, but this right here. Yeah, that it, was, it was. She deserved it. <laughs> she deserved that smack. She deserved it in Hollywood movie terms. Yeah. In real life, we wouldn't condone it, but I still would see how it happens. Yeah. Get up in somebody's face and don't think that they won't snap. They gonna snap eventually. Eventually, you gonna get that hard pass whooping that you been asking for. Yeah. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.